Hello, this is Deathly Silos again. I'm going to record a tutorial today on importing our custom head meshes that we've made. Because I've gotten a lot of questions about those just today, and might as well go ahead and cover that. So, we're going to go ahead and start our new project. I'm just going to go ahead and call this head tutorial. Oh. You know what? Yeah, we'll go with that. And author name in here. And it'll pull us up to our blank folder here. Okay. So, first thing we're going to need is to import our mesh. Oops, I've got that put to the side here. And the tutorial meshes folder. So we just grab our FBX file and then drag it in. Sometimes it takes those a minute to load up and then everything sort of freezes on me. There we go. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and select our skeleton. I believe it's just biped. So iPad skeleton. If you're not sure, again, you can just go find your original data asset and then compare. Everything seems to be good. Import. And the good thing about the heads I've noticed is that when you import them, they tend to line right up with their original textures. So this is Sebastian's head, the version that's been edited to not have hands so that we can use it for NPCs to have, you know, the arms out on the shirts. Everything's all right here, lined up, on, but if it's not, you just go into each thing and then you look it up. No big deal. And the next thing we're going to do is get our data asset. So we'll go here to content, and we're going to look up DA, just like the last time, and then we're going to find Sebastian. I believe they actually misspelled this, but it's the character. Oh, nope, this is it. Okay, so go ahead. I'm not right click. Go back to our folder. I swear these things get so messy soon. There it is. And click it, drag it. Remember to just click copy. There we go. Clear out your filter bar. And it's in place. And then we'll pop into it. I'm going to retitle it just Sebastian Sallow Head. Go into it, find our Sebastian mesh. Probably going to find two because I actually did import this in another mod that I've got the student as player one. So if you have two things that are titled the same and you hover over them, It'll show you right on the path which folder it's in. So see, this one says student is player. This one's my alternate outfits mod that I've used it in. And then this last one's for head tutorial. You want the one that's in the folder you're using. So I've clicked that. That's now updated. Save. Minimize it. I'm going to go ahead and save that too. Uh, ignore that. That was just something I was messing with earlier. And now we're going to make our data table and our mod mutator. So here, data table. I don't think that this one's going to be character piece, but you can tell what the piece is going to be if you click into this. Oh, it is a character piece.
So let's just go ahead and bring that up. Okay, character piece here, click OK. DT underscore head tutorial. Okay, and we'll open it up and add Let me pull it out so you can see. We're going to title it Sebastian Sallow Head, just like I titled the data asset. Okay. And then we're going to go to the bottom. And assign our character piece. Bastion Sallow Head, Path Head Tutorial. That's the right one. Click Save. Minimize that and then add our mod mutator. Here we go. Click that, select, and BP Head Tutorial. And again, it doesn't matter what you title this stuff as. But this really helps you to find it if you're a little disorganized. It just takes a minute to load. And it's up. So just like the last time, we're adding a data table extension. And we're going to get our data table we made for first box. And that would be DT head tutorial. So look up head tutorial. There it is. And select that. And we need to add it to the other character pieces. Character piece definition. That's the right one. Just double check by clicking into it. It has the same types of things. Go back. And save it. Now we can close it. That is not important. And we'll open Character Creator next. Give it a moment to load. 